Yes, greetings. What is it? My king, the queen. The, the queen is bleeding. What? The, the queen. What is the situation now? Any hope? My king. Honestly, it would have gladdened my heart to tell you we do. Dr. Harry. I must say that you are an astute professional. In your line of work. But you see what you have just done is the one thing that I don't like about you. Why do you find it very difficult to give answers to questions directly? Your Highness. I really understand how you feel. Oh, yes, I do. <sighs> but the truth is... Dr. Henry. I ask you again, what is my wife's condition? What is our fate? My king, the queen is fine. She is very But I'm afraid the pregnancy is no more. We lost the baby. What is the problem? My lovely wife. Open up and tell me what is what, what you, you look so worried. What, what is it? I'm missing my daughter. missing your daughter but for so many years now we have been missing her we have not seen Amarachi our daughter for a very long time and we have been moving on with life We're hoping that one day God will bring her back to us why, why is the topic coming up now I saw her in my dream last night you saw her in your dream? Yes. She told me that she is not happy with us. That we are not taking serious action to look for her. I don't know. I don't know where to look for her. Hey! What has happened? What is it? Chinedu. What is she saying after you? Manu. Yes. I was going to get enough for my father. Uh huh. Passing through that your land at Amocha, I saw your brother, Mazibubre. Man, he was with four men. Four men. And, 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 and from what he was doing and from his sentences, I believe he wants to say that land. No, no, wait. What? No. What are you saying? Chinedu, what are you saying? Are you really sure of what you saw and what you heard? Man, at your age, I don't think I can come here to fool you. He saw Ibokwe in my land, trying to sell my land. Okay. Man, I didn't just see your brother Ibokwe. With four good men, four men. Okay, thank you very much. I, I appreciate. Thank you so much, I appreciate. Just wait for me, I'm coming. Wait, I'm coming. Chinedu. Mama? Are you very sure of what you said? Mama, I'm very, very sure. I'm very sure. I saw Nazi Ibokwe with four men. Hey! Yeah.
Why are you come as well? Ibokwe? What did I do? You, you told me you saw Ibokwe here and some other men. Of course. Man was on the sea end. Mazi Ibokwe was standing right here. Facing this way. After showing them everything here, he now pointed that this land began from that tree over there. That particular tree. And ends here. The other man that was wearing coat, you know, I told you he came with two men wearing coats. The other one, long sleeve. Then that one came here. He was having one small machine he was using to view everywhere. I'm, I'm very, very sure they were here. In my own land? Yes, of course. Chile, are you sure of what you're saying? Hi. Are Nine. you sure you saw Ibokwe here? Nine, I'm very sure. Okay, see what will happen here. If you see uh, uh, Mazi Ibokwe, tell him that Chinedu deliver this message to you. And you can testify anywhere, anytime? No, I know Zondo. Take me to any and I will swear. Ah, I'm very, very sure now. Okay, that's all right. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for this information. I will pick it up from here. I will pick it up from here. Let me know. Let me know the morale he has. Let me know what, who gave him the gut to claim ownership over my own land. Now, Ninkem, uh, thank you very much. I should be on my uh, Yes, way thank now. you. Bye bye. Uh, thank Go. you. In five years of marriage, I know. The joy of every woman in marriage is to have a child. I know. Five years after marriage. I still don't have a child. I still don't have a child with which to show the world that I am a woman. What did I ever do to deserve this kind of treatment? From nothing, God? baby. Nothing. Our time would come. Five years of marriage without a child. Is that a lifetime of marriage without a child? <laughs> baby, believe me. We are going to have our own children, not just a child. I'm not complaining. My mother is not complaining. I wonder why you're beating yourself up now. Huh? Just because nobody has come out in the public to express how they truly feel does not mean the tongues are not wagging. I have become a I've become a laughing stock in this kingdom. Not to me, baby. They think I'm barren. No, you're not. You're not barren. <laughs> baby, don't cry. Baby, don't do this. Come on. Baby. I don't 
don't know what I'm going to do, I swear. I know what we're going <laughs> to do. Otherwise, I would have done something that God I, knows. I know what we're going to do. Listen, baby. <laughs> baby. We're going to keep faith. We're going to hold on to each other. And wait. Our baby would come sooner than you expect. Please, baby. I love you. And I'd never stop holding your hand. <laughs> Baby, please, I know that you're broken. But I don't, I don't want you. I don't want you like this. Okay? Please. Baby, please. <laughs> Baby, please. <laughs> Just, I don't want to keep taking the like, no, I'm sick and tired. <laughs> I know, I know. It's, it's just, it's just, it's just for now. All right. Prescribed by the doctor, we have to do what he's asked us to do. You know, just to help the process. Okay. Please, let me take care of you. All right. Sit down. Come on, come on, baby. I got you. Okay, I got you. Under my brother, where are you going to with Cutlass under the hot sun? Uh, greetings, Sokoro. Uh, greetings, my brother. I can see you are not happy. Tell me what is the problem. I am not happy. I am not happy. I was actually going to your place. I see, I saw it. I find it that you are not really happy. Tell me now, now tell me what happened. What is the problem? I want you to warn Ibokwe. Ibokwe, warn him, let him stay away from my land. Let him stay away from my land. If he doesn't, I will do the things he will not like. I will do things he will not like. I will show him the other side of me, which I am very sure he has not known. And please, just take, take it easy. No, 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 don't just go that way, please. Calm down. But tell me, which land are you talking about? The land at Amocha. That land at Amocha. My land. I heard from a reliable source that he took people to that place claiming that the land belongs to him Umbana. while I'm still alive and me, me. the fact that he is my brother does not give him the right to claim my properties while I'm still alive and me, me. let him stay away from my properties Please, but when did this happen? it happened today kita, kita. as a matter of fact I am just coming back from that place heading to your place that is serious but, but, but please just come down just leave it for me. I will look into this matter. And I'm better. You better do. I will do that. Better do. The earlier the better. Uh, because if he doesn't stay away from my land, I'd my he did between until okay until again. I will let him know. No, Koko no man don't do kawakwe. A fowl that swallows a needle will never live to boast of it. Like you see, that our heads will roll. Mm -mm -mm. No, it will not be in my time. It's not be in our time. Please, let us go back. Come on, I should you. go back. Okay, no, 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 because because they are not They are not abundant. And they give us abundant, abundant. Yes. My brothers, I call this meeting for us to address an issue that might cause a very big problem if not properly handled. <sighs> And what issue is that? That's a very good question. Uzandu here complained to me about you. He told me that uh, you enter his land with some people, claiming that the land in question belongs to you. I did. Ah, Ibuka, why? Why did. do you do such a thing? We all know that the land in question belongs to Uzondo. It doesn't belong to you. You have your own land. Why are you taking this land? <sighs> My son, who is in the university, 
is going for his final exams. I need money to sort his fees so that he will graduate and become a doctor, a medical doctor. And on the other hand, my two daughters that have gained admission into the university need money to pay their bills. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Listen, listen, government. So, what you feel you can do is to get into my own land. That is the only way you feel you can make money to, to, to do the rubbish you are talking about here. Nanam, don't you have land? I have my own, I have your own. Oh, 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 in my own land, say your own and solve your own problem. Of what use is the land to you? When you have no child, the only daughter you had is dead. Anna, 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 May, may, may the ghost, may thunder, may, may, may the ghost squeeze your mouth, turn your mouth upside down, turn your mouth backwards, for you, for you to, for, for, for you to, for you to mention that my own daughter is dead. How dare you say that? Is the it? Go get, 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 get. Go on, go on. Is the Is it not obvious that she is dead? Hey, enough of that, uh, Ibuke. Amara is missing, not dead yet. And I strongly believe that one day she will return to us. Why is she her dead? If she is not dead, why has she not returned for six years? And why has nobody ever seen or communicated with her? Okoro, I am just respecting you. Ibokwe, this is from wishing my daughter dead. Stop it! If you don't step out of my land, disease from pushing my daughter dead. Stay away from my land. Else, you people should stop deceiving yourselves. Yeah? He doesn't need a land. Why are you dragging the land for yourself? If I don't need sell the land, you that needs the land. We go with the land. It's very simple. You see, you If you carry your own and carry my own, they will wear you down and you go into the land. Ozando Malgono do Malgono do Ginagua. Malgona Agu Agu Ginagua. Hey! You I've been the one talking. I've been sitting here waiting for a response from you. Yet, I do not like it when you, when you keep quiet on me. It makes me feel like a fool. Say something. What do you want me to say? I want you to support me. Support me so we can find a lasting solution to our problem. I've told you that what we're going through is just a phase. I have told you 
that we need to keep faith and God will bless us with a child at the right time. Sinaka Yanya na funenu wa onyeko sinaka Yanya na funenu wa onyeko sinaka Kama jonye Yanya na funenu wa onyeko sinaka If you truly love me If you don't see me as a barren woman, please support me. Support me. Join forces with me that we may find lasting solution to this problem. Please. Lucy. Lucy, yes, I want you to know that I want kids more than you think that I do. If what you call support is me following you to one church or another native doctor's place, Help me out. I will not do it. For I will keep on keeping faith until God blesses us at his own time with a child. Why is your brother doing this? Why is he trying to sell that particular land at the best site? A land that does not belong to him. Why? I don't know for him. But I show you one thing. I will never allow him to take that land from us. Now, can you imagine Ibokwe? I had to go to look into my face and told me that uh, Marachi, our daughter, will never come back to us again. But God would definitely put shame on him. But what I don't know is what you really want to make out of that statement. <laughs> don't you think he knows something about our missing child that we did not know? I am a bit confused. I don't know. Maybe he may be the one that killed our daughter. So, Mother. I have seriously been thinking about it. What is the problem? Everyone walks closer to his or her grave as each day turns into darkness. King Kenneth, you and your wife are not getting any younger. Why have you decided to keep quiet and allow her to destroy you? I am lost, mother. What exactly are you trying to say? Five years. Five solid years 
of marriage without a child is what I call wasted years of marriage. King Kenneth, why have you decided to waste your precious time with your fellow man? Uh -uh, mom. My wife is not a man. She has proven that by getting pregnant seven times, mother. Seven good times. The fact that she keeps miscarrying does not mean that she's not a woman. Any woman, her womb mm. cannot carry a child for nine months. Talk more of giving birth to that child. It's not supposed to be called a woman. And how is that her fault, mother? Then mine. My fault. King Kenneth. Do you realize that a woman can fake pregnancy and the so-called miscarriage? Mother. Oh, yes. What are you trying to say? King Kenneth. My son. You will be the biggest fool on earth if you continue to allow that woman to save you. Wake up! Kenneth, wake up! Wake up from your slumber! to lose it. This is the seventh consecutive time that this is happening. It's, it's got me thinking. What is my offense? What crime have I committed that God cannot forgive. Am I the worst sinner in the world? Don't tell me to calm down. No, no, no. Don't tell me to calm down. Do you know how it hurts to be in this situation? I really don't know just how much of it I can take anymore. My heart bleeds. <laughs> Could it really be true that my daughter, my only child, is dead? If actually she is not dead, where exactly is she? Why have we or anyone not seen or heard from her? Why is my brother Ibuque always telling me that my daughter is dead and will never return to me again? Ibokwe, do you actually have a hand in my daughter's disappearance? Did you really kill my only child?
Good morning. Good morning, the great king of our land. My mom. <laughs> How I, are you today? I hope you slept well last night. I slept very well. I give thanks to God, mother. How did you sleep? Well, I did not sleep well. In fact, I did not sleep at all. Why is that? I was awake thinking all true. What were you thinking of, mom? Five solid years of marriage without a child is more than enough reason for a mother to be awake all night thinking. Um, I just rushed out this morning to talk to God on your behalf. Thank you, Mother. I appreciate it, but I have told you to stop worrying. I have told you that God would bless the spouse with children in his own time, yet you worry. That time will only come when you open your eyes to the realities of this life. Kenneth, do you still realize that you are a king? I remember that I am a king, Mama, but I also know that I am not in the mood for this conversation. Today, I have an impromptu meeting to catch up with my office. We will talk when I return. took away the life of my daughter. He must pay dearly for this. Hmm. I can see my daughter <sighs> reaching at me. I can hear her crying, calling me to do something for her sake. No, you calling me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's okay, it's okay. I'm where are you? I'm where are It's okay, it's okay. I'm in Whoever, <laughs> whoever that took away the life of my daughter must surely pay for it. Must surely pay for it. I assure you this. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Not that Sorry. Sorry. No, for for Oh, from Puru Wambo. Oh, I'm coming. Night. I'll be with you. I'll be with you. Yeah. 
you have no place in this palace. Strong. Agni. My dream. You are dreaming by this time of the day. Eh? I left this house so early to the church to pray for you and my son, and here you are sleeping and dreaming. Eh? Lucy, are you not worried about your condition? I'm asking you. I am supposed to see the doctor this morning. Then get up. Get up. Go and take your bath. Move to the hospital. When you get there, tell the doctor to help you find out if you are truly a woman. Yes. Nonsense. Dreamer. Yes. Why are you here? What are you doing in my house this morning? Eh? Is there anything useful somebody can do in your house? There is nothing useful that can be done in your house. Listen. Ibokwe, you looked into my face several times and you had the courage to tell me that my only child, my only daughter Amarachi is dead. And that gave you the impetus? To appear in my house. Can you be behind me? Well, I, I, I personally, I would ignore those dirty words from such dirty mouth. It is obvious you have something to tell me, something very important to say about the disappearance of my daughter. Uzandu, Uzandu, if you don't leave my house this very minute, I will not account for what I will do to you. I will not account for what I will do to you. You are blabbing. Hey, listen, hey, listen, listen. You are blabbing. There's nothing you can do. You can do nothing, Ibope. You have already done the worst you think you can do. Nothing again can you do. Do you understand that? Hey, listen to me. Provide my daughter dead or alive. Ibope, provide my daughter dead or alive. Can you wish you will never, never like the next part of the story? Oh, wow. What I will do, you will not like it. Oh, wow. I'm telling you this. Get out of my house. Provide my daughter. Ibogo, provide my daughter. I have told you. That's it, Your Majesty. This is the result of the lab we conducted on you. Dr. Henry. Whose result is this? Honestly speaking, Your Majesty, I'm, I'm a bit confused. Can you please explain to me what you mean? No, I want to know what you mean by this lab result. Several you doctors say the same thing over and over again. Like you have said here. You keep saying that I'm fine. Yet I keep experiencing the same thing over and over. Majesty, please calm down. Calm down? For what? Why in the world will I calm down? 
Do you know what it feels like to carry a child, a baby, in your womb for weeks, months, and then eventually you lose that same baby? Do you know? Your Majesty, I really understand how you feel. But I want you to take solace in the fact that you have been conceiving all this while. Huh. That simply means that someday you will still have your baby. I promise you, you will have it. Huh. When would that be? Tell me. Honestly speaking, I do not know. But I am very much sure that you are fine. Nothing is wrong with you. You are medically sound. I'm desperate. I am desperate. I am desperate to have my own child. I will pay any amount of money. I swear I want a child. I'm desperate. I understand. But please, take it easy. At the right time, it will happen. So, Nani. You mean that your so-called brother, Uzondo, came here to utter such words? Hmm? Hmm? You needed to have seen the insult he was raining on me. Without any atom of respect. Papa, he should go and tell his God that I was not around when he came here today. I would have taught him a lesson, a bitter lesson that he will never forget in his entire miserable life. Nonsense. Linda, why are you sounding this way? Why can't you tell Papa and Mama that what they are doing is very wrong? Tell them the truth. <laughs> Ujuma, what did I hear you say? Mama, what people are doing so close on is not good. What people are doing is not good though. You know that the land Papa wants to sell belongs to him. Uh -uh. Papa, why, why do you want to sell on that person's land? And the way you always talk about Amara, you will you, 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 you be saying eh, she, she, she's dead. She's not missing. She's dead. Papa, I think you have something to do with her disappearance. Suspecting you. May I your heart? Strike that your mouth. Eh? Ocha Komaka. Negoci Acha Filipili. Who gave you the audacity to utter such words? Papa, me, I know that Amadio will not do anything to you. Amadio cannot harm me. I just said the truth, and I will keep on saying the truth. Again and again and again, I'll be saying the truth. Uh, you, 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 you want to take another person? <coughs> I want to talk to because I'm saying you do. I want to speak. Turn it down! See us. Ego day. Ego day. Are you sure this girl is my daughter? And what are you suspecting? Eh? Good are you there? What kind of question is this, Nani? Because she is not behaving like somebody from my loins. Please, 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 please. It's okay. Please, don't say it again. Papa, it's okay. It's okay. Uju's opinion does not count in this matter. Eh? Your brother should go and thank his star that I was not here when he came. I would have shown him Pepe. Rubbish! Egodi, you have a case to answer. You have a case to answer. Now you are still saying it too. walks closer to his or her grave as each day turns into darkness. King Kenneth, you and your wife are not getting any younger. Why have you decided to keep quiet and allow her to destroy you? Five Solid years of marriage without a child is what I call wasted years of marriage. 
Why have you decided to waste your precious time with your fellow man? Your Highness, is everything all right? Um. Yes, yes, I'm okay. Um, well, you're here. How did you get in here without, without informing me? Your Highness, I've been working with you for years now, even before you became a king. And you've asked me to stop knocking on your door before entering, especially when you're alone. I think I remember that. I'm sorry. Um, sorry about that. It's alright, Your Highness. Yes, yeah, sir. Um, you look really worried. Do you mind to share? You know, it's okay. I, it's just business, you know. <laughs> I have to think. Uh, I, I'm looking for ways, you know, in which we can be the best in what we do. That, that's all. Alright, if you said so, um, I brought this card. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Have you done everything that I asked you to do? Yes, Your Highness, I've done everything. The only thing remaining is for you to sign on the paper. All right, I'll sign off on this and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, thank you. It's not a problem. And then um, one more thing, um, get in touch with the accountant and find out um, if she had paid in the check, check that I asked her to pay. Consider it done, Your All right. Unfortunately, the photograph cannot talk to you. Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you tormenting us? Why? It took me five good years after our marriage before I was able to conceive. I carried her for nine months in my womb and I gave birth to her through caesarean operation. I know. I know. Since then, I was unable to conceive. She's my only child. Amara, where are you? Who took you away from me? It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Who took you away from me? It's okay, it's okay. I may not have the answers to your question directly at the moment. But I would definitely get answers that both of us seek. No one will take away our joy and get away free. No one can do that. Whoever that takes away our joy will never get away free. Whoever that is guilty of it must be punished. Must be punished. It's okay. 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 Mama, what is the problem? I ask you this for I have noticed that you have been moody all day. What is it? The fact that both of you will end up as childless couple has gotten me worried. Mom. What did you just say? Are you laying a curse on me and my wife? 
Mom, sometimes when you speak to me, do you forget that I am king? Oh yes, you are the king. I know that, the king of this kingdom. But I am still your mother. Yes, God forbid that I lay a curse on my own child. Kenneth, the writing on the wall has become so bold that even the blind can see it. It is the topic of everywhere in this community. But the king and the queen are not bothered about their childless condition. Now I see the reason you have also refused to eat. Is that not enough reason for me to refuse eating? Tell me! No mother in this world will be happy eating and drinking when there is a problem like this at hand. Now let me tell you. I have decided not to eat you people's food in this house anymore until you do the needful. Sit out. I call upon you, God Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. You created everything in this world. And I call upon you, spirits of night. I come to you in Yes, and with a broken heart. For the past six years now, I've never set my eyes on my daughter. My only child. The child I suffered so much to bear. Please, God, protect her for me and bring her back alive to this house if she is really dead torment all her killers until they say the truth please god please god please god Kinsen. Your brother and his evil wife want me dead. Mama, you really know what you are saying. Are you now calling me a mad woman? Anything is impossible in me. Mama, can you just calm down and tell me exactly what? Kinsey, have you ever made out time to talk to your brother about his present condition? Mother, is my brother in truth any kind of problem? I mean, is he in some kind of financial problem? What other financial problem could be worse than him not having a child after five years of marriage? I'm asking you, Kinsley, don't tell me you are not bothered about his condition. Well, I am, I am bothered about his condition, but I know God will bless them with children someday. At least his wife is medically alright. If his wife is medically alright, let her at least give me one child. One child. I'm not asking for many. So this is why you say they want to kill you. I have not eaten for days now. And I don't see myself 
eating soon. Your brother and his wife want me dead. This is really serious. Um, you know what's wrong? You know what? After this call, I will have to call my brother to so know exactly what is going on. But in the meantime, please come eat something. Please, I will call him. Lucy. Go away. Go away and leave me alone. My love, just please open the door, please. I need us to talk, okay? Please, just open the door, okay? Please. Talk about what? What is there to talk about? Your mother is right. She's right. Fine, I heard what she said. Okay, but I want you to understand that whatever it is that she has said doesn't even move me in any way. Please, baby, come on now. Open the door, please. Just leave me alone. I don't know. We have to do something. I don't know what, but we have to do something. I do not want to leave you alone. I want to know what we can do. Okay? Please. I want you to know that at God's appointed time, everything will be fine. Just open the door for me, baby, please. Kenneth, please! Leave me alone! I beg you in the name of God! I, I beg you. I beg you, just let me be. Let me be for now. I want you to know that at God's appointed time, everything will be fine. Just open the door for me, baby, please. You know I never turn my back on you. Please. Can most I, most beautiful think... things come at a cost. Yeah. Absolutely. I don't worry, we'll handle it. Okay. We'll find a way around it. Yeah? Yeah. It's like 90% completed only. So. Ah, I'd say 80. Yeah? Yeah, so. Mom, good morning. Good morning, Mama. Both of you are the most stupid set of people I have ever seen. A man whose house is on fire does not go chess and what? Get it? Your house is on a serious fire that is likely to consume you if care is not taken. Why are you here eating, enjoying yourself with your wife? When you are supposed to be out there looking for a solution to your problem. Why? But we're, we're just having a moment over fruit. What's wrong with that? Open that to your cursed mouth and say one more word and I will pour this on you! Ah, uh, Mama, that's enough. Idiot! Mama, you're going too far now. What? Mom, sweetheart, it's okay. Mom, you are going too far. Respect me, mother. For I am still king. I am here. You can see me. Son! I am doing what I'm doing because you are the king. Don't you know that you might lose this throne that God gave to us? Eh? Has it occurred to you? Now listen. If I ever see any of you eating in this house again, both of you will be ready to bury me. Give me that. Come on, give me. Houses. Stupid. Foolish people. Honey, I know. Calm down. I'm here. It's okay. Trust me to take care of this. Okay. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Easy, baby. It's fine. 
Take it easy. Breathe. I'll handle it. I'll... Uzondo, I don't like what, the way you are behaving these days. Eh? When I ask you for financial assistance, eh? what is wrong with you? Uh, uh, what is wrong with me? Get it from Brother, what have I done? Brother, what have I done? I asked you for financial assistance to solve a pressing problem. And you tell me I want to buy jam foam for my daughter. Of course. Jam foam for my daughter is not important. What I want to do with the money I have is very important. For my only child, Amarachi, my daughter, is so precious to me. In fact, it's all I have. So I must do the best I can for her. Amalachi in Nanyabu, Ofunwa Kariri Umu 20, as far as in the concern. Ofunwa Kariri Umu 20? Mm -hmm. Why are you always talking about Amalachi as if uh, 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 there is something else? Eh? A girl child for that matter. Eh? Someone that can die tomorrow. No. Ba, 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 stop that. Brother? Can Kamsi can die tomorrow? Uh, are you wishing her dead? Okay, Why are you always sounding negative about my daughter? Do you want to kill her by yourself? But it was a little bit of a problem. I'm going to jump for Hi. Brother Mbano. I have told you. That is all. Just be careful. So that you will not cry. Had I known. Had I known. What do you mean by that? What do you mean by I don't know. Mm, God did. Okoro, mm? that was what happened that very day. Mm. Ibogu has a lot to tell us concerning the disappearance of my daughter. If you want to go, I call on her, I call 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 her, let him open his mouth and talk. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Uzandu. <clears throat> Ibokwe, you have heard what your younger brother Zandu said. Now tell us, what do you have to say about it? What sort of stupid accusation is that? Eh? What sort of insult is this? I, look, how dare you? How dare you? Anyway, just because I decided to come to this meeting, in this is useless house. Eh? How can he accuse me of having anything to do with the disappearance of the daughter? That is useless daughter. Oh, hey, hey, hey. Stop calling my daughter a useless child. Stop it. And if I do? Try it again. Eh, woman, just hold it there. Are you okay? Don't you ever try to insult my husband here. Else, I will deal with you, man. And your husband must not insult anybody here. Eh, hey, please. Uh, not of hey, that. Enough of that nonsense! Enough of that! Why are you people accusing each other in my presence? Hey, excuse me! Excuse you what? Did I insult anyone here? Ask yourself that question! Did I? And for your information, you can never do anything to me! Hey! You can never! Look at this yellow witch! His eyes like a queen! Tell her! How dare you speak to my father like that? Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you mad? Oh no, my king. Oh no. Seriously, I don't understand my mother anymore. My king, what do you really mean? Oh no. Mm -hmm. What kind of question is that? We have been talking for quite some time now. Are you telling me that you've not been listening to me all this time? No. I've been listening. I've been hearing you very clearly. But I never knew you would take it to this dimension. What dimension, I don't know. 
What are you insinuating? That the king of Enyato kingdom has been in marriage for five solid years without a child is more than enough reason for his mother to go to the extreme that she has gone. Any other woman in her shoes would have done the same. My king, your mother loves you. She loves you. Your mother wants her grandchildren. Hmm. No one understands how she feels. But that is not enough for her to go as far as she has come. She needs to remember that I am king. My king, she knows. She knows very well you are the king. But don't forget, you are her son. My king, your mother thinks you and your wife are not doing anything concerning your situation. That is wrong. Prove her wrong. Oh no. My king. My wife and I will have a child at God's own time, oh no. We'll keep waiting on God. At his own time, we will have a child. We are doing something. We're doing all that we can. We have gone for all kinds of checkup and we are medically okay. Then, keep praying for your mother to understand you. Because I don't see it happening. The king, don't forget the tradition of our land. What the tradition says. Whose side are you? On the side of the truth, of course. Papa, Mama, I honestly do not like what happened today at the meeting. Hmm? I feel so ashamed that my own family engaged in a physical fight to Uncle Ozondo and his wife. Hey? A fight we could have prevented from happening from the onset. Why shut up your mouth? What's your mouth? Must you open that stupid thing? That gutter you come at all the time to sell rubbish. Must you? A goldie. A goldie, I've said it before. You have to explain to me where you got this idiot from. Because I can possibly not further this kind of lunatic. Papa, calling me names or trying to shut me up. Do not stop me from talking, no. Please shut up your mouth. What is wrong with you? How dare you open that thing you can't go to, to say this service you just said now? How dare you? Mama, it's better you slap me the more. Uh, if, ah, if you talk again, I will slap you. Because I will not stop saying the truth. What people are doing to Uncle Ruth his drive is wrong. Ah. Uh -huh. No, she's still talking. Come, 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 come. Hey, would you want? It's as if you don't have sense, Abi. It's as if you don't have brain. That stupidity you think you have in your body, I will beat it out of you in this house. Now let it be the very last time you will open your smelling mouth and speak to Mama and Papa in that manner. I regret ever having you as a child, if only you came from my uh, 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 loins. Eh? But Nani, Nani, please, please don't just say that one. Eh? Don't you know that you are insulting me by saying that? Eh? I'm yet to confirm it because I don't see how I can be responsible for that lunatic. Look at this girl. Can you imagine? What has come over her? Mama, you need to slap her again. Slap Ma her mouth. slap is very oh, 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 If you, you say, say anything again, my marriage has 
gradually turned into a nightmare. What is the problem this time? My mother-in-law. My mother-in-law, who used to be very caring, gentle and, and lovely, has changed completely. What did you do to her? What else is the problem other than the fact that I'm yet to give her a grandchild? You don't really have to blame her. I know. But it's not my fault. There's nothing wrong with me. All the doctors my husband and I have visited have repeated the same thing. They keep saying that we're fine. But my mother-in-law doesn't want to hear that. She's always breathing down my neck onto me like a beast and a monster of some sort. Lucy. I'm... Do you refer to me as a beast and a monster? No, Mama. Good, good day. Keep your greetings to yourself. Lucy, you now refer to me as a beast and a monster because I asked you to give my son a child that will take after him, right? I'm sorry. Hello, hello? My daughter-in-law is calling me names because I, I, I told her to stop the children in her womb and give my son king a child we shall see we shall see to this what are you doing here what are you doing in my compound I know what they did is very wrong, okay? Please find the place in your hands, okay? Please. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Okay, please. Okay, we are still self-family. You and who? You and who are self-family? Now, get out of this place this moment. Get out of here this moment. I said, go away from my compound. Go away. Bad people. Are you normal? Crazy set of man beings. Get out of here! My husband, I heard you shouting at someone. Who was that? Uju. 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 Which Uju are you talking about? That same Uju. That stupid and useless daughter of my stupid and useless brother. Stop calling him your brother. Huh? Stop calling him your brother. He is not your brother and never be your brother. Oginide, as for that useless girl, would you? She should thank her stars that I didn't meet her here. I would have cut off her two legs. Nonsense. Diara. I think it's very clear. It is all just the Amar. The Amar. Very crazy. I married you. You see? Because I loved you. I still love you. And that is why, despite the fact that we have been married for five years without a child, I still stand by you. Why? Because I love you. It's not my fault that we don't have a baby yet. Not enough reason to insult my mother. No, I, I did not insult your mother. You, you know I will never insult your mother. You know me. You call my mother a monster and a beast. No, I, I, I didn't. You still call her a liar. Oh, gosh. 
right before me. Sweetheart, this is all one. Do I still know you? Of course. It's all one big misunderstanding. I swear. There's more to it than I can put into words. It's, it's not how you think it is. I did not mean to come off that way. And I'm sorry. Please. I'm really sorry. This will be the last time, Lucy. So, that my stupid brother, Ozondo, really want to be a clock in the wheel of my progress. How can a man with no child be dragging land with me? Five million naira is a huge amount of money for me to let slip off my hands. I will do everything possible to sell that land. I can't afford to lose the money. No way. My husband. What are you still doing here all alone? We are supposed to be together in the room by now. What are you doing here? A man whose house is on fire does not go chasing rats. I think I'm confused. We start to lose a whooping sum of money. Five million naira if we lose that land. Hey. So, what do we do? That's exactly what I have been thinking since I came out here. And I am determined to make sure that we do not lose that money. What do you want from a beast and a monster like me? Please leave before you experience the real monster in me. Get out! Please, I am truly very sorry. I, 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 I didn't mean to use those words. I, I'm sorry. Okay, you don't want to leave. Fine, let me leave for you. Mama, please, please, don't be... I'm sorry. I'm truly very sorry. And I swear, you will never hear such words from my mouth. This, this, this will not happen again. So, I am an illiterate. No. I don't understand simple English language. No. Mother, I'm just saying that I didn't mean it the way you understood it. That's... That's all I'm saying. I have heard enough of your insults. Let me go. Mother, please, I'm sorry. I'm truly very sorry. I'm sorry. Yes, Jane, I sent for you. I'm pleased to sit. Thank you. One second, please.
you know, uh, forgive my intrusion, but I couldn't help but notice a couple of days ago, we were talking to, I presume, a friend about your cousin's wife who, you, you know where I'm going with this, who faked her pregnancy. How did that happen? You, you, you don't mind sharing, do you? Yeah, it is um, 100% true, Your Highness. She faked her pregnancy and um, after some time, she claimed she lost it. Her doctor did it for her and um, you know these things work in different stages and ways. So she connected with her doctor, he did it for her. Her tummy was big like um, that of um, six to eight month pregnant woman. Um, the day she claimed she lost the pregnancy, the blood was so real. It was so real that everyone believed her and felt pity for her. In fact, um, I don't really like talking about the incident because um, it's, it's such an ugly one. Hmm. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry I took you down such sad memory lane, but how did you people find out she, she was lying? Well, she can't lie forever. Her cover blew up because the doctor found out that um, she's married to my cousin who happened to be his secondary school best friend way back. So that's a bit. Ah. World is wicked, eh? Oh, very wicked, good. People it's are good. really, really wicked. Is everything all right? You won't understand. Thanks for sharing. It's okay. You can go. What brings you to my house this early? Mazi, the issue between my father and his younger brother, Uncle Muzodo, is giving me sleepless nights. I think it might get out of hand, if not properly handled. How old do you mean? <laughs> Mazi, I'm shocked you're the one asking this. Can't you see? It is very obvious that they are now serious enemies. <laughs> I don't think it has gotten to that level. It has gotten to that too. Soon, it might go beyond that. Why do you think so? Hmm. Mazi, I was at Uncle Zondo's house yesterday. You needed to see how he looked at me with so much hatred on his face. To the extent that he walked me out of his compound. Yes. Hmm. Mazi, you really need to do something very fast. Hmm. Now, what do you want me to do? I want you to call my father to order. Tell him to leave Uncle Uzondo's land alone. And secondly, ask him about Amara's whereabouts. Because Uncle believes that my father knows something about his daughter's disappearance. And do you think your father will ever listen to me? Mazi, hmm? you are the eldest in the entire family. I strongly believe you can do something. Especially in this ugly situation. Mazi, just please, talk to my father. I think he will listen to you. Please, just talk to him. I've heard you. I will do my best. Oh no, you know, I... I have not been myself since my secretary told me that story. My king. That is life. We see and we hear a lot of things on daily basis. And those things put together 
make up what the world is. What do you mean? My king, the world is filled with the good, the bad, and the ugly. My king, I believe whatever is believable. Are you saying that the story she told me could be happening to me? You know, my king, this is the first time you are t talking to me concerning your wife in this very doubtful manner. Is there anything you are not telling me? Oh, nothing. Um, nothing. I'm just... I am just a king who is scared and confused. My king, sorry to be so inquisitive. What is the relationship between you and the doctors you've been visiting all this while with your wife? nothing no, no relationship whatsoever as a matter of fact it's been my wife um recommending all the doctors that we've been seeing on this matter you know i don't have all the time well my king if your wife has been the one that's been taking you to the doctors you've been visiting there was fear might turn out to be true. What kind of temptation is this? Mama? I'm here. Mama? What is it? You have a call. Call? Hello? Answer it. Answer it. Uh, 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 hello? No. How are you doing? Mama, I'm not fine. I'm not fine. Uh, you're not fine. What's the problem, my son? Mama, I have few days to my exams and I've not paid my school fees and other things I need to settle in school here. I, I, I think you have wants me to fail my exams and then uh, all the years I spent in this school will go just like that. Oh, my dear. Such will never happen. Do you hear me? Now listen to me. You will finish your education and come out as a medical doctor and nothing will stop it. Do you hear me? Then you push do first and send me this money so that I'll pay my fees and write my exam just like others. Don't worry, my son. You will hear from us soonest. Okay? I will talk to your father. Don't bother yourself. Hmm? You will get the money. Mama, calm down, calm down. How can you be asking me to Mama, push you do first and send me this money, please? Mama, what is it? What did he say? Is it not the same money as you? Hi! Huh? He said uh, uh, that his ex final exam is around the corner. That he needs money to settle some issues, some money issues that he has in the school. Hi! Oh, Papa should better sell off that land though. Papa should better sell off that land as soon as possible so that we can sort out the financial needs of this family. You better go hey? and talk to your father. Go and talk to him. What is all this? Can imagine? Hmm. You should sell off that land. You should sell it off. Hey, you should sell it off. Hey, Mama, but is he all right? What did he say? How is he? Please it? stop disturbing my ears. What should you do, Father? All this, I've, I've been present all this while. Eh? To just look at two days to my exams and your sister. Please, you should just leave me alone. <laughs> Hey, sugar boo boo! How is my baby doing? How are you? I'm fine. Ah, you don't look fine. What's the problem? Babe, I said I'm fine. I'm okay. Talk to me now. What is it? Baby, I said I'm fine. I'm, I'm just having a little stress, that's all. <laughs> you know what? 
The way to a man's heart is always through his stomach. Ah, huh? that's my mom's usual quote. Really? Mm-hmm, of course. So, you know what? I'm just going to, you know, um, step out there, get some food stuff. So by the time I'm back, I'm going to make you a delicious meal. And after tasting the sumptuous meal of mine, by then you'll be in a better mood to tell me what the problem is. Okay? So you think that will work, right? Uh-uh. Why not? Trust me now. Trust your baby. Don't worry. I'll be right back. All right? Oh. I'm coming, baby. <laughs> Hold on. My husband, don't you think you should take this matter to the Igwe? I think you have a point. You have a point. I have to take this matter to the Igwe. I, I, I even took the budget last night. Yes. That is what I'm going to do. I will take it to the palace. Let the king hear about it. We cannot fold our arms and do nothing. Since Man Zokuro, who happens to be the oldest man in this family, is not doing anything about it. So you need to go. Whether he is doing something or he's not doing anything, doesn't matter. But the way it is now, I have to go to the palace and report the matter officially to the king. If I'm not satisfied with the outcome, mm -hmm. then we will see ourselves at the police station. Mm -hmm. Or even the law court. <laughs> That's wonderful. I'm fully in support of you. Gakene mi afuzi. Makanabu na habaro ruzo wenyewe. Manarechi. Yes. Makanabu na ruzo wenyewe. At least for once. Hmm. Ruzo wenyechi. Go and get me something to eat. All right. Go and get me something. I'll be right back. Greetings, Sokoro. Greetings, my real brother. Yes. How are you heading to this uh, time of the day? You know, I am actually going to the palace. I want to see the king. I hope all is well. Mm -hmm. um, all is well, all is not well. What about it concerns that same matter I reported to you. Yes, that same matter concerning my land. Uh, it is taking long and uh, I want the king in his good office to look into the matter and handle it himself. Uh, for me to get justice. Mazo Yes. Are you saying that you have lost confidence in me? Mazo Kuru, I have not said so. Because I have not lost confidence in you. I have not. Then why are you, what are you insinuating? No, no, it is just that it is taking longer than expected. You know when I reported the matter to you, till this moment nothing has been done. I have not said anything. Nothing positive has come out of it. And as we are standing here talking, Ibuku has already arranged on how to sell my land. Ah, Man is not meeting Chabama. Oh, enough of that. That's a mission impossible. He cannot do that. Not even when I'm still alive. Uh, I beg you to give me more time. As a matter of fact, Ibuku's daughter Uju told me what happened when she came to apologize to you. So please just take it easy and give me more time. Whatever Ibuku's daughter must have told you. On my annual definition. Her father caused the whole problem. Nanya. On a bucano. Ah, Pruella, or double. As you are yawning and you don't control your jaw, it can go to infinity. Like that. Who can help you, Nanya? Listen. If you want to give you more time, I can. I can give you more time. Mana, go, The best promise you can give to a hungry person is provide the food. Let him or her see. Do whatever so that he doesn't sell my land. I can give you 
the time, but when it gets to a point where I can no longer be here, I can go any length to don't, get justice don't myself. Go there. The Bokwe daughter you are talking about, she's aware of everything. She narrated everything when she came to beg you, when she came to apologize to you. And my only request for you now is to please just give me a little time to handle everything. Even when I did, when I was not Okoro, I, I, I don't want you to start repeating you. You've told me this. I heard it and I believe you. If you don't bear the waters before it gets to the ankle, it can swallow somebody. Somebody can get drowned in the water. So as early as it is, let him stop entering my land. Talk more of selling, selling my land. We must resolve this issue once and for all. Please. Can I not go? Actually, I'm Oh no, everything happened so fast. It was like a movie. Along on Kuala Express Road, you know that major. Yes. No. It was a miracle. Oh no, would you believe that just a few seconds before the, uh, that accident, a truck drove past me? What would have happened if I had run into that truck? You would have been cooling off in one of the mortuaries by now. Oh no. Give me a few minutes, I'll call you back. Mother. What is this you have just said? The truth. What kind of truth? Do you now wish your own son dead? God forbid that I wish my son the king of any attacking life. But take it from me that death is a price. We all must pay someday. Well, I know that. But what I'm struggling to understand is why my own mother would be the one discussing with me at this youthful age of my mother. What is going on? The right question is, what would have become of you? The throne. Our lineage. If you had died in that accident. And the answer would be? Gone. And completely forgotten. My son. No one would have ever remembered that you existed. Your wonderful name would have been swept under the carpet. And all you suffered so much to acquire would have been taken up by other people because you have no child to take after you. Wake up. Kenneth, wake up. Think of a way to solve this childless problem of yours before it becomes too late. <laughs> Baby, my love, can you talk to me now? What is bothering you? What is the problem? Don't worry about me. How do you mean? You look bothered. And you're telling me not to worry about you. Oh Talk to me. All my years in this school is about to become a waste. What's that supposed to mean? 
the new policy that the school imposed on the students is really affecting me. Wait, hold on. Are you owing the school? Yes, a lot. And my exams are fast approaching and if I don't pay my fees, it simply means that I'm not going to write the exam. Lord have mercy. How come? I mean, what are your parents doing about the situation? They don't have the money. And my exams are by the... Con if I, I don't just know what to do, that's the truth. I don't know what to do right now. You know what, baby? Don't worry. I need you to calm down, all right? There must definitely be a way out of this, okay? Trust me, I got you, baby. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> no, I love you, right? I know. Nai, you came back so early. Didn't you see the Igwe again? I did not go to the palace again. I knew it. There's no way you could have gotten to the palace and come back by this time. So what happened? Well, actually, I met Mazukuro on my way to the palace. He asked me where I was going. I told him. And um, he advised, but he pleaded that I shouldn't take the matter to the king yet. What is that supposed to mean? No, no, what it simply means is that I should allow him to handle the matter by himself as the head of our family. And you agreed? <laughs> I'm so much disappointed at you. I'm very, very disappointed at you. Mazukuro has been handling this issue for so long now, yet no positive result. This time around, he said we should give him some time, that he's going to try his best. And, and something good will come out of it. What if he doesn't? What if Mazi Ibukwe sells that land? Ibukwe cannot sell the land. Ibukwe man land now. I used to tell you all the time that no kebe iho nye muanya. Makana, okuko no aga, ola hadundu kwa akuko ya. If a man who swallows a needle, can, that far we cannot live to tell the story. You people should act fast too. You should try and act fast, else I will take up this matter to some other place. Yes, what? I will take it to another place. Masiokuru, what are you actually driving at? Ibokwe? Let me know. Ibokwe, look me in my eyes and tell me the truth and nothing but the truth. What sort of truth do you seek to know? Good. Do you have a hand in sudden disappearance of Amara, Uzondu's only daughter, your younger brother? What kind of stupid question is this? My question is not stupid. It's a simple and harmless question that deserves direct answer from you. Mazyokuro, do you think that I can be responsible for the death of my brother's only child? Eh? Ibokwe, you keep saying that Amara is dead, yet no, no one has seen her dead body. Neither have we heard from anyone that Amara is dead. Ah. Let me tell you as a matter of fact. Tell me exactly what you know about Amara. I stop uh, hiding, hiding, hiding. Tell me the truth. That's why I ask you. Is it not obvious? Is it not obvious that Amara is dead? If not, why has she not returned or even communicated with anybody ever since she left so many years ago? This is how most of them who go to the city for prostitution end up their lives. Ah, Ibokwe? Prostitution, you said? Your own daughter, a prostitute? <laughs> hey. Yes. If not, how can you explain a little girl going to the city to stay alone? How do you explain that? Ibokwe, watch your tongue. Watch your tongue and stop referring to Amara as a dead person. 
and also stay away from Uzondo's land because that land does not belong to you. All I know is that I have problems in my house that need solving. So I'm going to sell that land in order to solve my problems. Go and sell your land and leave your brother's land. And you go worry. Sell your own land and leave your brother's own. That is exactly what I'm doing now. You know the writing, do the writing, do the needful, please. I think my mother was right. I would have been dead by now, with no child to mourn me or take over from me. I sure would have been totally forgotten. If only I had my own child, my mother wouldn't have called my marriage. Five years of my marriage. Wasted years. I wouldn't have found myself in this helpless situation. Where I'm now thinking of the option of a second wife. I need my own child. Five hundred thousand naira. Baby, what for? <laughs> um, I need you to clear whatever bills that you are owing the school. What? So that you can write your final exams. Baby, this is too much for me. Oh my God. Oh no. But, baby, where did you get this amount of money from? This uh -huh. is too much. Uh -huh. I saw that coming. I knew you were going to ask me this question. Chukuma, you know, um, I didn't really tell you so much about my family background. And that was because I wanted to be sure that you love me. To be honest, I have come to realize that the feeling is mutual and you really, really care about me. That's why I did what I just did. Oh my God. What? What is for me? Yes. I'm such a lot of words, baby. You're so oh. sweet. Rose! <laughs> oh, come here. Come here. You're too sweet. <laughs> you know I love you, right? I know. Oh, my God. <laughs> hey! 500,000. For me. Oh, baby. This is... This is unbelievable. This is unbelievable. Okay. So I'm going to write my exams. Fine. 
What fire? You do know that if I had died in that accident, by now I would have been one of the mortuaries in this community. God forbid, baby, that is not your portion. Amen. But hear me out. If I had died in that accident, I could have been one of the mortuaries in this kingdom. And then all of you are going to come together to have my funeral, after which I would have been forgotten. My name has been wiped off the history of this kingdom. Why? Because I do not have a child. You can choose to interpret it however you want. Very importantly, I want you to know that I want a child. My own child. A child. Who dropped this? Huh? <laughs> hey, that little witch is trying everything best to see the other side. What is the problem? How can I help you? The food I left at the dining table a while ago is not there. I I went to the kitchen and discovered the door is locked and the key is not there. So how may I help in all this? Well, I asked the maids and the guards and they seem to know nothing about it. So I said to ask you and... The only time your brain works is when it has to do with food and kitchen. If you may know, I took away the food. And the kitchen keys are with me. Why? Mom, well, why? Mom? God forbid I should give birth to a barren woman. Do not refer to me as your mother. Don't! Well, I'm hungry and I need to eat. You are not ashamed of yourself. Five whole years of marriage. Five years of marriage and all you do is eat all day in this house. Nothing at all than to eat. Your mates are in their husband's houses with their kids. In your own case, you have nothing to show off. Not even an imbecile. Nothing. 
Do you want me to die without seeing my grandchildren? Is that what you want? Sense. Fool. I believe God will give me my children. Then wait for that day to come before you start eating again in this house. Nonsense. What kind of sensation is this? Why all this Bueno 